All right, we got one here. The thermostat is calling and on, saying heat, but we have nothing coming on. So chances are we have a low voltage issue here, but before I shimmy into there, let's try to shimmy back here and see if we have R. We got our meter leads between R and common. We're looking for 24 volts and we do not have that. I can tell here our Y wire is not yellow from the from the thermostat anymore. It's blue, so that kind of tells me that wire might have failed at one point. What else is going on here? What the hell? Got all these wire nuts here. Well, I don't know why that Y wire has so many wire nuts on it. This is one of those beat the peak uh, boxes, which is right here where the power company will cut you off during peak usage. So somebody has taken that off and bypassed it. That's probably what all these wire nuts are about. All right, we need to get to the air handler. Right. We're going in guys. Let's take a look see how bad it is that's not that bad air handlers right there I gotta get either under or over this pipe that's not too bad all right just getting to the air handler now this air handler is from 2010 all right let's get the panel off our breaker here, which is a 100 amp breaker, holy crap, is not tripped. All right, let's get this panel off. All right, got the panel off here and we can already tell that fuse is blown. All right, so we're gonna get our little popper and put that on there so we're not blowing fuses till we find this short. All right, we got our little popper installed here. Let's restore power and see what happens. Hope it's not tripping right away. So let's start jumping things out and see where our short is. While I was poking around trying to see where the short was, the unit came on. So that means the thermostat timed out and came on. And I have my amp probe. Um, our 24 volts just to see what our amperage is and it's 0.5 so that actually looks good right now let's dig in this thing a little bit deeper so these aren't traditional colors here my blue wire here is actually my Y and brown there is my reverse valve so I'm going to start or keep jumping things out jump out W and I'm going to jump out the reverse valve and see if I can find where the short is. Uh, well, when I turned it back on, everything ran and it ran fine. I jumped out every component and it didn't, it didn't blow the low voltage fuse. So we have an intermittent problem here. Um, so what I've done right now is I've disconnected all the thermostat wiring and I wanted to check continuity between each of them. So I have R connected right now I'm just going to this one right here is going to my this wire is going to my thermostat so we're just going to go around just to see if we have continuity all right nothing there nothing there nothing Okay, so we don't have any continuity going between R and any of my wires. So we're gonna go over to common now, which on um, this one is actually black. All right, so we got, we're on black now, and we're gonna go to each of them, check for continuity. All right, nothing there either. 
And now we're going to go to green, which is G. I'm just going to go through them all. And we're going to continue this process for all the wires. Just to see if we have any continuity anywhere. Alright, I checked for continuity through all of these thermostat wires at the air handler. Uh, and I checked them all between each other and to ground and I didn't see any issue. So um, we're going to move on. Next I'm going to pull this board here and check it for any burn marks. It's a little discoloration there towards the bottom, but I don't see anything crazy here. Nothing to warrant a um, uh, blowing a low voltage fuse. Let's put that back. Uh, I got the board put back. We're going to reconnect all of our thermostat wires and then um, check some stuff at the outdoor unit. Got all new wire nuts here we're going to go back with because those ones that were underneath there look kind of crappy. They were looked like they had some water had been in them. So I'm going to go back with new wire nuts. I need to get on that uh, that Wago bus. Everybody seems like they're using Wagos now. So, need to get on them, but for now it's just wire nuts. All right, just got out here to the outdoor unit and I don't know if you guys can see what I can see. We got a low pressure wires, um, low pressure switch wire rubbing up against a piece of copper here. I don't know what the extent of it is, but Let's get this top popped and take a look. Right, let's take a look. Yeah. I bet you that's it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. The wire's barely starting to show. And it was rubbing up against this suction line right there. That's our short. You guys can see that little dot right in the middle there. That's bare wire there. That's bare wire. It's starting to show through. That's why it's not tripping all the time. When it catches it just right is when it trips. Blows the low voltage fuse. Huh. All right, let's get this wire fixed. Right. We got a new connector in there. We cut out the bad part. Put a new connector in we'll check to make sure it doesn't not pulling off but here's that piece of wire right here i cleaned it off a little more you can see right there yep that's bare wire right there every time it would touch for longer than a couple seconds it would blow that low voltage fuse so i think i think this has been going on a couple times now i think this fuse is blown at least twice. I'm glad we got to the bottom of it. We're gonna check out a little bit more of this wire and making sure we don't have any more rub outs. And if we, if that's it, then we're good to go. All right, we cleaned up some of this wire too. I put some zip ties on everything, made sure everything was good and tight. Uh, and we're not gonna have a rub out again. So that's what we got. All right, we're gonna put the top back on and start this thing up. All right, we got all our thermostat wires connected back. Uh, we've restored power. Uh, everything looks good in there. We're just waiting for the thermostat to time out to come on and we'll check this thing out and make sure it's running properly. It is in heat mode right now because it is 63 degrees inside the house. It's kind of warm out here, but um, we'll, we'll still check in heat mode um, and then see how it's running. All right, she's back on now. Yeah, she's making good heat. Holy crap. Yeah, she's hot. All right, we fixed this one. All because of this little darn piece of wire. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. All right, guys, how about that? A little low voltage short there. We found it on that. It was actually the high pressure switch wire. I'm trying, just trying to back out of the driveway here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, high high pressure switch wire. Those 
especially those carrier pain bryant units um they, they they rub out all the time i see i see that all the time and hindsight always being 2020 i probably should have started there but um i wanted to do my due diligence because the unit started and it ran and didn't trip and plus all those wire nuts in that air handler and the outdoor unit they, they look real crappy so they it, it did them good to replace those also and just to check continuity um just to make sure we didn't have anything uh shorted out anywhere else but all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm off to the next one.